Hi there. I've been thinking. Today I want to talk about a phenomenon known as pareidolia. So what is this thing? Well, according to the dictionary, pareidolia is the tendency to perceive a specific, often meaningful image in a random or ambiguous visual pattern. So this includes seeing a, a fluffy bunny in a cloud formation, or a, a face in an unusual place, like seeing the face of Jesus in a toast in the morning. I think we're all familiar with the Rorschach or ink blot test, where we're asked to identify an image in a random blob of ink on a page. Of course, in evolutionary terms, the ability to recognize patterns is extremely important. For a hunting species, it's vital that the hunter be able to identify their prey against a chaotic background, perhaps even within a for forest environment, for example. And it's not enough just to be able to recognize the full image, but the hunter has to be able to, if you like, interpolate from clues. So it might see only a partial pattern and then the brain fills in the gaps and uh, the hunter is able to identify the prey. Similarly, if there's a predator after the, the human being, uh, he needs to be able to recognize that as well. Pattern recognition is also important in terms of the ability to recognize faces, particularly the faces of kin. Now, those who are related to each other tend to have some facial similarities. So being able to detect those and recognize who is kin and who is a stranger is very important. Now remember with early human beings, they weren't comparing their own image with that of the person in front of them. They rarely ever saw their own face. If they ever did see a reflection, it was probably very unclear and it was also reversed, of course. So when, when a person is identifying kin, they're actually comparing them to their parents or their siblings. So if you can recognize kin, one, you can determine whether the person is uh, a potential enemy or not. And of course, also, depending on how closely related they are, you can determine whether they're a suitable mate. You don't want to mate with someone who is too closely related to you. So clearly, pattern recognition is extremely important in terms of human evolution. But it can also, obviously, go wrong sometimes. We can misinterpret patterns or see patterns that aren't actually there. Now, sometimes, of course, these images can actually take on a kind of religious significance. I remember back in the mid-1990s, there was a church in South Australia in the coastal town of Yankalilla, south of Adelaide, where people began to perceive a particular image on the wall. And I'll show you that image now. Now, obviously, that image has been framed in a particular way to cut out any extraneous elements. And I don't know what you saw there, whether you saw anything at all. But many people saw in that image the Virgin Mary holding the infant Jesus. Or others saw the Virgin Mary holding her dead son uh, brought down from the cross, the image of the Pieta. Now that's become a very significant uh, focal point for the town of Yankalila. It's become a place of pilgrimage and it's brought a lot of people in and I'm sure it's been quite good for the economy also. It's actually very difficult to unsee an image once you've seen it. I suppose from an evolutionary point of view, it's better to see images or see patterns that aren't really there than it is to miss patterns that actually are. Now, patterns are important in a whole a lot of other areas of, of human life as well. We don't only see patterns in space, for example, but we identify patterns through time. For example, music. 
Identifying patterns is one of the most important aspects of science, seeing order and regularity. I suspect uh, seeing patterns is also important in the development of conspiracy theories. Here, it's a matter of, I think, uh, filling in the missing spaces quite often. It's a bit uh, like seeing the fluffy bunny in the cloud, I think. So patterns are extremely important. Pattern recognition is extremely important. We also need to be aware that sometimes we see patterns that aren't there and that it's a very strong tendency of ours to do that. And perhaps we should just pause before we place too much significance upon them. Anyway, it's something worth thinking about.